Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from Nightwing2303.com. Today we have another performance review and is on the Adidas Adi Zero Crazy Light Low. So, uh, we've already gone through the Crazy Light, uh, I guess you could call it the High, um, but just the original Crazy Light. And I do definitely recommend this one over that one. Um, so without wasting too much of your time, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we'll start off with the bottom of the shoe here. Um, basically, if you're used to playing in a crazy light like the high top version or if you saw my previous review on the high top version um, this is the same exact traction pattern the only difference is the rubber is a bit different the other one was a more a little bit more grippy um, than this version here but other than that it did the exact same thing that the other uh, crazy light did and it does it very well the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that these are stated to be used for out or indoor purposes only so, for those of you that ask me a bunch of questions about outdoor shoes, um, or if shoes are good for outdoors, you know, I don't play outdoors, so I can't really tell you. Um, you're going to have to either try it out on your own or find somebody that does play outdoors. But basically, I play with all my shoes indoor, and uh, clean floor, dusty floor, doesn't matter. That's pretty much what I'm using these in. Um, back to the traction on this particular shoe, uh, perfectly clean floor, perfect. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Dusty floor, you get a bunch of slippage and things like that. I constantly had to wipe uh, the bottoms of the shoes and that definitely helps once you get all of these things cleared out. Um, all of this stuff just cakes with dust and it kind of is a bummer but um, you know when it's clean it definitely works. Uh, when it's dirty just like most shoes you just have to make sure that you are paying attention and, and wipe the bottom of the shoe as often as you can and that'll help out so traction overall was good don't use these outdoors as they're stated that it's just so thin it's going to grind down within a couple of couple of wears probably i give these about a week outside if you play regularly so um but yeah that's pretty much it for the traction so we'll move on so as far as the cushion is concerned you have the same thing as the previous it's a soft eva foam full length um, it's very comfortable I really like it a lot. Um, the sprint frame is broken in the back. It's not broken, but there's like a hole there for extra compression. And then the forefoot, the sprint frame stops pretty much right about here. Um, and so all of that up is just that foam uh, material. So I think that these are very comfortable personally. Um, I did do a modification to it. It's not a big deal, but basically they came with these insoles here. These are very similar to what comes with like the, the Andy Power Howards and stuff is just kind of like a lightweight foam. Um, this is not as light as the crazy light insole that came with the high version, um, but this is the only insole that they come with. So I didn't like this. I could feel the sprint frame underneath my forefoot, like underneath the ball of my foot. So what I did was I took out the PU or polyurethane insole from the Adi Zero Rose. I don't remember which one. This is either from the 2 or the 2.5, but, um, or I think this is the 2.5 because it doesn't have that flights canceled thing. But basically, I just used this inside the shoe instead, and it helped out quite a bit. They're about the same thickness, but they're just different materials. This one's much more absorbent to impact than the one that it came with. So that's what I chose. I like it a lot better, and um, it made them definitely a lot more comfortable during the wear. So material and fit. Um, materials are a little bit different. It's still the sprint web, but this top layer of material, whatever it is, it's a little bit um, more durable and a little less flexible than the previous model. So basically, these are, you know, this is the regular one and this is the low one. And um, this stuff, it it looks like it's about the same thickness. It could, this stuff could be just a little bit thicker. Um, but this stuff is just real, real soft, and it doesn't hold its shape as well as this stuff. So I like this a lot better. Um, there is break in time with it, though, especially across the toe area. So when you start to flex, you do feel that material push into your foot uh, just a little bit, whereas with these ones here, you didn't feel that whatsoever. All you felt was the pinch from the eyelets, um, which you also get here. But um, <clears throat> so overall, I like this material a lot better. Um, it helped. Help held my foot in a lot more and it didn't move or get distorted with uh, you know hard cuts and things like that or, or hard landings 
Um, this is definitely a little bit more supportive as well. I didn't have any of the issues in the low top version as I did in the high top version. And I'm not really sure why I can't explain it to you. Um, the only real difference besides the cut of the shoe itself and this material difference is just that both of these, um, this one here is a, is a two piece, so the toe and then the rest of the upper is sewn together right here and here. Whereas this one here is just one piece. It's a one piece wrap from one side of the shoe to the next and they basically just, you know, attach it to the sprint frame and to the heel and collar lining. So those are the only real differences. I can't, I just can't explain to you why these ones, I didn't have any problems with these whatsoever as far as rolling my ankle. Um, you know, I can't explain it to you, but it just works a lot better. So the fit, they're true to size. Um, again, this right here, I mean, that's a killer. Um, they even added this this uh, tongue here instead of being held down right here at the front. Um, it's a little sleeve, so ventilation's a little bit restricted right there. Um, but even with that extra material, it didn't help whatsoever. So constantly have to readjust laces and things like that. And it didn't matter what type of socks I was wearing. I could wear thick socks, thin socks, and I would just feel that pain there. So that's kind of a, a downside. But, um, you know, other than that, materials were, were better than the first version. Uh, the fit is pretty much the same other than the heel is much better um, locked down. As soon as this is tied up, everything's drawn right back here and it's not moving whatsoever, uh, which is not what I received in the high top version. So ventilation, again, it's pretty much the same throughout. It's all this uh, sprint web, so you can see right through it. Tons of airflow from left to right. It is slightly restricted when comparing it to the high top version just because of the tongue. Um, the tongue has uh, got a little sleeve that, that goes all the way until the, the forefoot here in the toe box. Um, other than that, it's perfectly fine. It didn't affect anything too badly, but it's going to definitely knock off at least a half a point in the ventilation department um, versus the high top one. But other than that, I thought ventilation was great, and it's still far greater than what you'd get in most other shoes. So as far as the support is concerned, um, the same thing as most of their uh, Adidas products. You have the sprint frame. You basically have that in the heel. This is no different than what is in the high top version. It's exactly the same, same size and everything. So like I was saying earlier, I cannot explain why I did not roll my ankles in these. I'm just going to assume that it's maybe a better fit um, in this, this material section. Other than that, I, I have absolutely no clue. Um, but basically, it's same thing as all the other sprint frames where it's open on the medial side here. So you can have full range of motion. As a guard, this is definitely a plus. And then on the lateral side, it's restricted a little bit, so you can't really turn. Um, so if you're stopping, it's going to stop with you and uh, not allow you to kind of go all the way over. That's a theory, um, and it works in this one. So this shoe, support, everything literally is the same as the high top version, other than the fit is much greater, the materials are slightly different. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much all, all that I can say about that. All right, guys, so that pretty much takes care of the review on the Adidas Adi Zero Crazy Light Low. Um, again, this one just had much better fit, traction, cushion, all that stuff was exactly the same. Same with the support. Um, this one definitely held my heel in to the back of the shoe much greater, and it did not uh, experience any rollovers in this one for some reason. So if I were to recommend one over the other, it would be the low versus the high. I'd say go for this one and not the other one. Um, but at the same time, we're getting to that point to where the Crazy Light 2 is probably going to debut sometime maybe in the summer or fall. So you might want to hold back and just wait for that one to release. Um, hopefully it's better than both of these together. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. And until next time, guys, have a good one.